What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's your boy Danel, you know how it is. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about what freshers, people coming to EMU need to know, some little hacks, you know. But before I go straight to the point, please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget, share too, share too. If you want to see more content from me, little like, subscribe and share. So, first of all, we'll be talking about why EMU. EMU is a very beautiful school, good school, in a classy environment where, the, where there's beaches and lots of things. Um, we have qualified teachers from inter international teachers, local teachers, we have them here. Good facilities, great libraries, great sports facilities, great scholarship programs, all and all. So, but first of all, we need to know some like little hacks about EMU. So hacks like knowing the registration office, bus time, don't buy, no buying of SIM at the airport, it's quite expensive. Uh, the dormitories, the food, the taxi, the market, and changing of your foreign currencies, where to and how to, then the school bus. So first of all, I will start by if you land at the airport, when you come between the uh, orientation period, yeah, the school is most likely to send you a school bus to come and pick up, pick you guys up. But if you don't come early, you have to use the normal bus or the taxi. But I will try to tell you, avoid the taxi as much as possible because it's way expensive. It's about like close to $40 when coming, estimated price close to $40 when, when coming to the school. But they have this bus, it's like their main bus. You are, you are only allowed to pay like $5. And the time the bus, the last bus leaves is 12 a.m. So when you come, when you you know your time for your 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 plane is gonna land, when you know the time, then it's way possible you should plan an extra like extra cash to use in maybe paying for a taxi if you miss that particular bus. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the registration office. So when you come, I think you just give yourself like a day to rest. After then, you go straight to the registration office. I'm going to put like a picture so you see how it looks like. I don't want you guys really like asking questions, you know. It's like a hack. So, you go to the registration office with your acceptance letter, your passport. You register yourself as a student of EMU. And after that, you go straight to your faculty and register your courses. It's as simple as that. So, um, I'm going to talk about like the dormitory fees now. Like if you're staying in school... If you want to stay in a school dormitory, immediately you come, they're going to give you like two days free in the school dormitory. We have DAO 3. I've done a previous video on that. Uh, we have DAO 3. We have DAO 2. Then we have DAO 1, Sabanji. So it's actually Sabanji. They give you like two days free. You know what I'm saying? So, but if, and the estimated fee on um, staying in a school dormitory is about, I think, depending on the room, but I think the standard like two rooms is like like no like a uh, room with two beds. Sorry to say, is about like let me say two two thousand three hundred TL approximately. Uh, then staying in a private dormitory, yeah, we all got taste. It's estimated per semester, like um how to say. $1,500 per semester depending on the private uh, private dorm. Some dorms have like $1,000 um, $1, per semester. So moving on, we're talking about the food. Bro, like the food is good, but man, I would advise you if you're coming, especially from an African uh, background or something, please come with your food. So that like f enough food that will last you for like one month so that it will give you time to get acquainted with the country, like get used to their system, their food and everything. So they have a market. Yeah. If you like to go buy some like cheap, not really cheap food, but fresh vegetables and stuff like that. They have what they call Thursday market every Thursday. So you go there, just take a taxi. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about I'll, I'll talk about the taxi later. But you just go there. You 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 they close by 4 p.m. Every Thursday in every week. That's what they that's what they do and you can get things cheap there you know it depends on you so talking about your taxi no matter where you're going to inside Famagosta where the school is they're going to charge you 20 TL yes anyone that wants to do otherwise is trying to swindle you of your money don't agree with that you know don't agree to that 
so so if you have like if you come with like a foreign currency um inside the school they have where they change uh your money if you if you choose if you want to change it inside the school but it's advisable to change inside the school uh you, they have a place close to echo or it's an echo plaza where you can change your money at good rates and um yes if you're talking about does the school have like school bus to take us around campus yes they have just you just need to know the time and everything that will be fine knowing the school bus then lastly i talked about the sim you can get your sim like um you get a uh, free at during the orientation period at the registration office they register you and register the rest then we have majorant like when you come here you've stayed here for like so about the sim you can get a free sim during orientation period at the registrar's office then they'll do everything for you they're free of charge don't need to pay a dime so next I'll talk about the majorant majorant is like stay permit you know when initially the first visa they give you is a one month visa so after that it's gonna expire so you need to do a, a majorant so when you come here you do the majorant the majorant is estimated hundred dollars that's about 590 TL so once you do that they'll give like a one year stay permit so guys if you have any question at all please you can leave it down at the comment section if you have any opinion just let me know please guys don't forget to like subscribe share to my youtube channel see you guys later if you want me to do any video or you have any question the next video you want me to do just leave it down there and i'm gonna pay attention to you so please guys you can i will leave my instagram handle down there too my facebook handle down there snapchat so guys yeah follow me up thanks you thank you goodbye guys teshekule edrim that is thank you by the way so catch you guys later you have to learn turkish too Talking with people. Bye. That's a you. You supposed to pick a boss. That the last boss leaves by two. Wait till they talk. <laughs> <laughs>